Are you feeling stressed about thinking of gift ideas for some people on your list? Well, today I have a few more gift ideas for your knitting friends. You know, I'm always on the lookout for things that are outside the norm, maybe some unusual things that everybody doesn't already have, or things that people haven't thought of to give as gifts. And of course, you might be on the lookout for some special treats to buy for yourself. So if any of those descriptions fits you, then grab your knitting or other crafting and keep on watching to hear more of my gift ideas for knitters. Hi everyone and welcome back to U University. I'm Dr. Kelly. The holiday season is well underway and I already did one gift ideas video a couple weeks ago, my gift guide for 2021. But I had some other ideas that didn't really fit into that video, so I decided to do a separate one. And that's what I'm doing today. So stay tuned to the very end because I'm going to talk about a few of my favorite small businesses that I love and you can order from online. And don't forget that I have a whole playlist of gift idea videos that I've recorded over the past five years. And I'll link that playlist down below in the description box in case you missed any of those and want to catch up. Those videos cover a whole range of prices from free to tens of thousands of dollars. Almost everything I'm going to talk about today is $50 or under, with a few exceptions that I'll leave until last. And I know this is kind of last minute because Christmas is coming in only a few days, but some of these things you can get right in your local yarn shop. So stop in there and see what they have in stock. For other things, you might be able to get express shipping or maybe find them on Amazon with two day shipping. And some you may be able to find at your local craft stores like Joann's or Michael's. So let's go ahead and get started with the rest of my gift ideas for knitters for 2021. Oh, and as a reminder, um, I always put links to everything I talk about in the description box below the video. So in case you're inspired to purchase something, you can always find the link there. I think I'll start today with some little things that you could get for stocking stuffers, and they're pretty inexpensive as well. The first product is this Dritz Comfort Thimble. It comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. You can pick them up at Joann's for around four to five dollars each or forty dollars for a pack of 12. But don't forget to use your coupons because that will definitely save you money at Joann's. This thimble is soft and flexible on your finger but has a hard tip to protect your finger from being stabbed by sewing needles. The dimples in the tip also prevent the needle from slipping and cutting into your finger. Now I thought this would be a neat gift for a knitter who uses the technique of finger pushing like I do. Many knitters use their right forefinger to push back the tip of the left needle when you're moving new stitches from one needle to the other. Some people um, have even split the skin on the tip of their finger from the repeated jabs. So wearing a small, comfortable, flexible thimble like this might be a way to save your finger from being poked so much and possibly injured. This seems better than wearing a traditional metal thimble, um, which are pretty rigid and would kind of get in the way while you're knitting. This one also has open sides, so your finger stays cool and your skin can breathe. So again, that is the Dritz Comfort Thimble, and you can pick it up at Joann's. Another inexpensive idea is this Yarn Valet Stitchers GPS set, which is only $4 at Knit Picks. These are simple tools for keeping track of your place in a knitting pattern. And I love that it's called GPS because it's about wayfinding, just finding your way in a knitting pattern. This set comes with removable and reusable translucent tape strips in different shapes that you can stick right on your paper pattern. You just choose the piece you want and then peel it off the backing and place it in the appropriate spot on your pattern. You have several shapes and two different colors to choose from. Each pack includes four each of pink and yellow solid rectangular strips, two open window strips for highlighting a specific line of the pattern, 
two ruler gauge strips which have many ruler markings on them that you can use to measure swatches, 30 black check marks, and 24 transparent pink dots that can be used to mark your size when there are multiple sizes given in a particular pattern. So yeah, this is such a low cost, useful gift that your knitting friends will be sure to love. And again, that is the Yarn Valet Stitchers GPS. My next stocking stuffer idea is these Prim Yoga Cable Stitch needles. These are pliable cable needles. They basically have a flexible covered wire shaft that you can bend into any shape you want. If you like straight cable needles, you can certainly leave them straight. But if you like any type of curved cable needle, you can mold these to any form you want, including a hook or even a corrugated shape, which is the kind that's straight with a little bump in the middle. These yoga cable needles are made of the same material as all prim knitting needles. So if you've ever felt them, you'll know what I'm talking about. They have a soft non-slip surface that keeps your stitches safely in place. And like all prim needles, the tips have a little bulb shape that helps grab onto the stitches, but also allows your stitches to easily slide on and off the needles when you want them to. Um, these yoga cable needles come in two different sizes. The four millimeter is equivalent to around a US size six, and these come in a pack of two for about $10. The seven millimeter size is equivalent to around a US size 10 and a half, and it comes in a single pack for about $13. And again, that is the Prim Yoga Cable Stitch Needles. Okay, my next idea is these large faux fur pom-poms that are the style right now. Have you guys noticed that the pom-poms on hats these days are really big? So if you wanna keep up with the trend, you might be interested in these oversized faux fur pom-poms from Barrett Wool. They are the Lux Snap-on pom-poms that have a large seven inch core. Again, they're faux fur. They come in all different colors from fashion colors like pink and blue to more natural colors like brown, white, and gray. I love that they're snap-on. So one side of the snap is sewn onto the pom-pom itself and the other side is sewn onto the hat. And that means you can easily remove the pom-pom to wash the hat or you could make the pom-poms on different hats interchangeable. And like I said, these pom-poms have a seven inch circumference core. So that's about the size that would fit in the palm of your hand. Now, do you guys know the secret to fluffing up your faux fur pom-poms? Use a blow dryer. If you've never used a blow dryer on your furry pom-poms, you will be surprised at how much fuller they get from the agitation and the warmth of the blow dryer. It works way better than just shaking them. Yeah, so these are faux fur Lux snap-on pom-poms from Barrett Wool, and they run about $10 each, or they seem to have an ongoing special where you can buy three and get three free, so six for $30, which breaks down to only $5 each at a way better deal. Next up is this wooden Kitchener stitch tag from Katrinkles. It's around $8. Now, if you're not familiar with Kitchener stitch, it is a method of grafting two pieces of knitting in an invisible connection. It's used a lot when making socks from the cuff down, and when you get down to the toe, you use the Kitchener stitch to close the toe. Or sometimes it's used to close the tip of a mitten. And if you're like me, I always have to go back and look up how to do the Kitchener. So it would be awesome to have this little wooden tag with instructions engraved right on it. Super helpful. The tags are lightweight and durable, made from cherry wood and are two and a half inches square and three sixteenths inch thick. It even comes with a little beaded chain loop that you can use to hang it from your knitting bag or project bag. So yeah, I think a lot of knitters would appreciate a simple Kitchener stitch wooden tag like this one from Katrinkles. Okay, my last little stocking stuffer idea is this adorable needle gauge from Coco Knits. 
You can get this for around $15 at Jimmy Bean's Wool. This is a really unique idea for measuring your knitting needle size. Most needle gauges are flat and have different size holes around them like this one. And the size is marked, you know, next to the holes. So whichever the smallest hole is that your needle will fit into is the size of that needle. But Coco Knits has come up with a different way to measure needle size. And it's this cute, colorful set of discs, very much like a set of ring sizers like I have here. So if you wanted to know what size ring you wear on a particular finger, you could go to a jeweler and they have these you know, ring sizers and you can see which size fits your finger the best. Well, it's the same concept with this Coco Knits needle gauge. You open it up to separate the different bands and then see which one fits around your needle. This type of needle gauge is generally a lot smaller than the traditional flat needle gauges. I mean, the flat needle gauges are pretty, you know, easy to store in your notions pouch, but the Coco Knits one would be even tinier and easier to fit into smaller bags. You know, many knitters probably have a needle gauge, but they may not have this cute one from Coco Knits. All right, so those were some small stocking stuffer ideas, and now let's go on to some other gift ideas. The first one, I guess it's small enough to be a stocking stuffer if you wanted to, but it's a little more expensive. This is the Magnetic Knitter's Necklace by Knitter's Pride. Now I've reviewed similar products in the past. Um, Coco Knits has a um, snap-on bracelet with a magnetic platform that works in the same way. I just think that the necklace is really pretty because it's made out of natural wood rather than an exposed metal platform. The necklace comes in a kit that includes the wood pendant, which contains a strong magnet inside it, and it's on an adjustable cord. You also get three cable needles in different shapes and 20 stitch markers in four different types, and all of these will magnetize right to the necklace. So again, the idea is that you use the magnetic necklace to hold your accessories, the stitch markers and the cable needles, and really any other knitting paraphernalia that would stick to a magnet. It's convenient and keeps your notions organized so you have everything right at your fingertips when you're working on a project. I also like that the pendant comes in two colors of wood, natural and cherry. Uh, but there is a caveat. If you have a pacemaker or other medical implant, heed the warnings on this product. It does contain a strong magnet, which could affect your device or your health. So be especially careful about that. But again, that is the Knitter's Pride Magnetic Knitter's Necklace, and it runs about $34. Around that same price point is a new game that looks really fun to me and it is called Arch Ravels. It is $34 on Amazon. I don't have the game, but I definitely want to get it. Here's the publisher's description of the game. It all starts pretty simple. You just want to be a bit crafty. You think you'll make yourself a nice hat or a comfy scarf, but before you know it, you've got more yarn than you know what to do with, and everyone you know is asking you to make them blankets, sweaters, and teddy bears. Now is your chance to make a splash in the crafting community. Compete against your friends and rivals to craft patterns, fulfill special requests, and complete projects. Manage your stash effectively to avoid paying a hefty price for your basket of shame. Complete the most projects and become the envy of crafters everywhere. <laughs> it just sounds exactly like what all knitters get themselves into, right? So in the game, you get to shop for new yarn, complete projects, and even frog projects. What more could a knitter want in a game? The only drawback that I could see is that it looks like you can only play with four people, so you wouldn't be able to get your whole knitting group involved or anything like that. But still, it looks like a fun and easy to learn game that features beautiful artwork, um, diverse characters, um, a vibrant theme and is something unique. So again, that is a game called Arch Ravels. Here is another idea that would be super useful for a knitter who likes to make hats. 
you could get them a mannequin head that they can use to block hats. Now, I know you don't need to block a lot of hats. And when you do, you could certainly do something like blow up a balloon and block your hat on that. But a mannequin head like this kind of takes it to the next level, especially if your hat pattern involves lace that needs to be intricately pinned out. Now, there are several neat things about these mannequin heads. First, they come in a variety of sizes that correspond to the sizes of real adult heads. If you happen to know your friend's head size, you could buy the same size mannequin head, so a hat would be blocked to their exact head size. The second neat thing is that the mannequin head is stuffed with cork. That means you can stick pins in it, which allows you to precisely block out um, lace patterns. But overall, I am really, um, I've really enjoyed having my mannequin head for the purpose of blocking hats and you can get it on Amazon for around $30. Do you guys remember the Yarnet, a plastic enclosed yarn bowl that came out several years ago? They were really popular because they keep your yarn ball contained and prevent it from rolling around on the floor or getting all tangled up. Now the original Yarnet had the capacity for only one kind of smaller sized yarn cake or yarn ball, but couldn't hold like a skein of yarn or a larger yarn cake. Well now there is a bigger version of the Yarnet and it is called the Big Sully. This one is seven inches by nine inches and can hold all different types of yarn, skeins, cones, yarn balls, yarn cakes, there's plenty of room inside and you might be able to even store your project in it. Besides the yarn cover, it has a spindle that you can use to kind of skewer your skein and hold it in place. It also has multiple channels which allow you to thread the yarn through at just the right place. The top of it features a needle gauge in both US and metric sizes. The removable base is the same rubbery non-slip material found in the original Yarnet. And the base is where you can store small accessories like stitch markers, small scissors, row counters, and such. Now the Big Sully could be another really useful gift for someone or for yourself. Um, the the least, least expensive I could find it was around $34 on Amazon. Maybe you have a friend who is getting quite a collection of double point needles or DPNs. A nice gift for someone like this might be a beautiful DPN case like this one from Knitter's Pride. Now this is an empty case for someone to put their own needles in. It's not a set of DPNs. The needles are not included. But I love this pretty floral zippered case. It has a very nice suede lining and it holds up to 16 sets of DPNs. Um, each set is kept together with elastic bands at the top and the bottom of the case. The case itself is 9.6 inches tall, so that would hold your regular seven and eight inch DPNs perfectly. And this case is 2650 at one big happy yarn. As an aside, Knitter's Pride also makes a case for fixed circular needles and it comes in the same beautiful blossom pattern. So if you know someone who's getting a collection of fixed circular needles, that case would be a great gift option for them. And that one is $39. So yeah, those are a couple of nice needle cases that would make awesome gifts. Okay, this next gift idea is really something different. You know, I'm always trying to find things that are out of the ordinary, and I think this one is. <laughs> it is not a knitting accessory or anything like that, but it's called a nest starter. And it's basically a wire ball that comes stuffed with pieces of wool. You hang it in a tree or somewhere outside, and the birds come and pick out pieces of the wool to use in their nests. And when it gets low on wool, you could refill it with short pieces of wool yarn. It's a pretty simple design and maybe you could make one yourself, but if you were interested in buying one, I found this one at Uncommon Goods for $40, which is made out of steel wire by a Canadian artist named Derek Martin. 
It's eight and a half inches tall and five inches in diameter and does include the wool stuffed inside of it. They suggest that in the winter, you could use it as a bird feeder and fill it with bird seed balls. Then in the spring, it, fill it with the wool or short pieces of wool yarn and use it as a nest starter. I think this is a neat idea that helps the birds out all year long. Maybe you know somebody who is a bird lover and this might be a perfect gift for them. So again, that is the nest starter from Uncommon Goods. My last gift idea today is actually a collection that I love. It is the Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection, which is an assortment of knitting needle sets and accessories with the same theme. So the whole mindful theme goes with the notion of meditative, calm, harmony, and serenity. And I really like that because doesn't that embody the feeling of Zen when you are, you're immersed in your knitting? I love that theme and I love the designs and the colors of this collection. The colors are turquoise and teals and the packaging is decorated with different mandala patterns. Everything is just so beautiful and thoughtful. The collection runs the gamut of different types of knitting needles to all kinds of accessories. I mean, if you bought everything in the collection, you would spend well over a thousand dollars. So I'm not saying get everything in this whole collection, but here are some examples. The different knitting needle, interchangeable needle sets in this collection are called warmth, kindness, believe, gratitude, and generosity. There are also fixed circular needles and DPNs. Then you have beautiful blocking mats, a special coordinating set of knit blockers, and matching accessories like darning needles, a row counter ring, tape measure, project bags, and a tote bag. So even if you picked out some of the smaller accessories to give as gifts, I think it would be so nice to get such a beautiful coordinated set of knitting supplies. Now I'm sure there might be other things in this collection that I'm not mentioning, but you should go check it out for yourself. You can get the items from this collection at many different yarn shops. Um, I'll put a link below to somewhere I can find the most items in the collection. And again, that is the Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection. All right, those are the rest of my gift ideas for this year. But if you're interested, Stay tuned for a quick review of five of my favorite non-knitting businesses that are totally gift worthy. They don't necessarily have to do with knitting, but I wanted to mention them because they sell a lot of other gift ideas and I have made multiple purchases from all of them, so I can recommend them without reservation. The first shop on my list is called Indigo Perfumery and they are in Cleveland, Ohio. Now, I've never been to this store in person, but I would love to go there if I'm ever in Cleveland. If you want to get off the beaten path in terms of the perfumes, Indigo is the place to try. It is a small boutique that specializes in artistic and hard to find scents. Now, if you live close by, you can also go there in person and create your own personalized scents. Now, since I live several states away, what I like to do is buy a bunch of their perfume samplers for five or six dollars each. They send them to you and then you can test them out and see which ones you like or don't like. Right now I'm working my way through the latest set of samples that I bought a few weeks ago. Um, I ordered six samples and they put another one in my package as a free gift. So I have seven samples that I've been trying out. Now each sample might last like two or three applications. And at the end of the day, I write my notes down about what I liked or didn't like about the one I'm wearing that day. I love to be able to do this because I have found some great 
perfumes this way. I've also found some that I didn't like, which were like $275 a bottle. So I'm certainly glad I didn't spend that much money to find out I didn't like it. So anyway, um, if you know a perfume enthusiast and want to get away from the scents that you can basically buy anywhere, um, try Indigo Perfumery. Okay, this next one is going to be an odd one, but I'm going to mention it anyway. I'm a huge fan of Coco Floss. <laughs> It's a company in San Mateo, California that sells what they call luxury dental floss. Now, I've been using Coco Floss for years, and I actually have a subscription where they send me three or four flavors every six months. Coco Floss was started by two women. One is a dentist, and her sister is an artist. So they kind of combined their talents and created this company. They pretty much exclusively sell dental floss, but it's not like any other dental floss I've used. It's got a subtle texture, and they say that scrubs your teeth cleaner than other brands of dental floss. I also love the different flavors they have. So I love supporting the Cocoa Floss Company. And yeah, um, between the Cocoa Floss and my Sonicare toothbrush, my dentist appointments have been going really well. Another company in California that I love, this one's in San Jose, is Jet Pens. You guys know how much I love pens, stationery, ex and accessories. I get a lot of that stuff from Jet Pens. They specialize in Japanese products, but they also have thousands of others from the US and around the world. I've gotten quite a few fountain pens from them, as well as fountain pen ink and fountain pen friendly paper. But gosh, they have any kind of pen, pencil, stationery, paper, notebooks, ink, storage pouches you could ever want. Their website is great for ordering because they have so much meticulous information about each product, including precise measurements, weight, and things like that. I also like that they, with fountain pens, they show a picture of someone holding the pen like they're writing with it so you can see how big it will be in your hand something else i love is that they have pen sampler sets which are a bunch of pens with particular characteristics so like you can get a turquoise gel pen sampler set for 24 dollars or a black ballpoint pen sampler set for 17 dollars or a waterproof brush pen sampler set for 30 dollars and they have a bunch more sampler sets than that um, I've bought some of these sampler sets myself to try out different pens, and I've bought them as gifts too. Yeah, so if you're a lover of stationary products, you will probably really enjoy Jet Pens. Another small company that specializes in stationery is La Papiere out of Quebec, Canada. This is a company that is run by two women who do all the artwork, printing, organizing, and mailing out. La Papiere only sells paper stationery and envelopes. Their stationery is all the same size, five by eight inches, and has lines with about a quarter inch line spacing. And then you can get the stationery by itself or with matching envelopes. So I encourage you to go over to their Etsy shop and check out their designs. Um, be sure to pay attention to their homepage because they seem to have an ongoing sale where you can get different percentages off depending on how much you buy. And you have to use the coupon code, which they give you right at the top of their shop's homepage. Okay, so that is La Papiere on Etsy. My last small business recommendation is another Canadian company also out of Quebec, and that is Agendio. Agendio is a company that makes custom planners, and I've been using them for about three years now. Um, if you're the kind of person that just can't shake the excitement of a paper calendar, even though we can use electronic calendars, then you might want to check out Agendio, especially if you're not finding exactly what you need in a planner anywhere else. They have an astonishing number of options you can choose from to design a personalized planner. Just be aware that when you initially go to their site to design your planner, be sure to give yourself at least an hour to explore all the different options and just get used to how their site works. It does seem a little overwhelming at first. 
But once you've designed and saved your planner, when you want to reorder it, you can leave it the same or you can tweak things, but it's usually easier and takes less time after you have one designed. Some of the options are, um, first the planners come in three different sizes. Uh, mine is the medium size. Here's my, this is my new one that I just got in the mail today. Um, it's seven by nine inches and I'm extremely happy with that size. Second, it's got great paper. It's smooth, white, and there are three different weights of paper to choose from, um, 60, 70, and 80 pound. Um, I get the medium weight, which is 70 pound or 105 GSM. It's thick enough that you don't see any bleed through or ghosting with most pens. Um, you can also choose the start date. You don't have to start on January 1st. You can make it start anytime during the year. You can also choose which day your week starts on. Some people like their planner weeks to start on Sunday. Um, I like mine to start on Monday. And that means that um, the weekend days are together on the end of the week. So you can choose what font you also want as well as colors for the layout. Uh, mine is just, I just do mine a simple black and white. Um, but there are two different types of covers, a hardbound synthetic le leather or a soft spiral bound with a clear plastic overlay, which is, this is what I get. You can do daily, monthly, weekly layouts or a combination of those. There are really too many choices to cover here, but just know that with Agendio, you can set up your planner exactly the way you want it. And in case you just want to go with something pre-made, they do have some planner setups already made in popular configurations. So you could go with one of those or start with one of those and modify it to your liking. So again, that is Agendio Custom Planners. All right, everybody, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for sticking with me for the whole video. I hope you got some great gift ideas today. I wish you the happiest holiday season and hope you have a spectacular time with your family, friends, and loved ones. Like always, I'll include links to everything I talked about in today's video down below in the description box. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Let me know how you're doing and what you're getting your knitting friends for gifts or what's on your own gift wish list. I hope to see you again soon. And until next time, stay smart and have a sparkly week.